And uh, the head-to-head, -head, Farid catching him up 19 times they've clashed. Average match time there, Lee, 61 minutes, looking pretty healthy. I think uh, that we could surpass the 61 minutes tonight. I really hope we do. We get as much squash out of these two as possible. Yeah, we're all hoping for a, an incredible final uh, tonight, and there's absolutely no reason why it shouldn't be. Ali Farag is in the form of his life, in my opinion, and he's, he's played absolutely seconds. brilliantly up to this match. But uh, Shibagi is, like he said in his interview, these are the, you know, these are the two best players in the world today. And um, I think, based on last night and the way that these two have got Same through to the final, I don't think there's any classic. doubt that uh, we're in for a cracking match tonight. Mohamed El Shibagi of Egypt to serve Ali Farag of Egypt to receive. Uh, you listen to that man, and that's what's for you. Best in five games. Love all. So, Mohamed El Shabagi kicking off this St. James Place Canary Wharf squash classic final battle of the Egyptians here in London. John Mazzarella, the highly experienced English referee, taking charge. You can already see Joe in this first rally. Shibagi's tactics very, very different to the way he approached the match last night. The first rally last night, he was uh, really using height on the front wall, trying to slow the pace down, trying to take the ball away from Tarek Moman. But tonight, certainly using more pace, getting the ball lower on the front wall. Yeah, he's already started better than what he did yesterday. Mohamed El Shibagi in his a lot more calculated. Farag's been quite happy to take the ball in short quite early, which is not always the case for him. Yeah. Particularly in this event, that's a bit of a misjudgment from Shibagi. Yeah, that's definitely the shot in the first rally that you want to see roll out of the nick or you want to see executed the way that you imagine it. That will have uh, just dented the confidence a little bit for El Shibagi, but that will uh, certainly put him back on track. Yeah, that will get the balance back. It's a very odd mistake that from uh, Farag very early on. Oh wow, that's great shot. Down to one. These players, players both from Egypt, but very, very different personalities and very, very different styles of play, which when they do play well at the same time, makes for a classic battle. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that at all. He looked very, very late on that ball to me, Joey. He was very lucky from... Yeah, oh, he bounced twice before he actually was going uh, to him. That's, uh, that's a tough call. A bit fortunate for El Shabagi. And with it being so early in this first game, Farag choosing not to review. I think he should have done. So he wanted to just get a bit of rhythm going. Stop, start with a review. Yes, lad. Two all. Unleashing a bit there, not finding the nick. Good pressure from Shibagi. There's a the grunt. 
is uh, oh, a great rally. rally. Immaculate rally. Knowledge by Farag. Good pressure there, Lee. It was. It was a great rally. Great retrieval from Farag going into the back corners there. But uh, he'll have taken a great deal of confidence from this shot, El Shabagi. I also think uh, previously there's about three or four shots where Farag struggled to read him. There was a good bit of hold and he was a bit unsure, Farag, what Shabagi was doing from the front corners. Yeah, I think El Shabagi is getting his tactics absolutely spot on at the start of this first game. He's really intent on getting the ball past Ali Farag. When Ali starts moving across that mid-court line and he, he makes the game look very, very easy, takes the ball on the volley, hits his corners. What El Shabagi's doing at the start of this match is he's taking him out of that rhythm. Really impressive start this from Shabagi. Really impressive start. He's gluing the ball to the sidewall. Ali's really struggling to get across the middle of the court, which he Fine. loves and takes a great deal of confidence from. Yeah, the accuracy levels have been superb. From the beast of Alexandria. position from Shabagi as well. He's nice and high. In contrast, when his brother was playing, Farag Marwan was a lot deeper in the back of the court. Oh, he's lost his foot. How has he done that? That's unbelievable. He's looking around, spinning around. It's extraordinary what he just did there. Oh, and he's won the rally. And now the rally. Well, very unusual slip there from Farag. He's yeah. not one that normally loses Three his five. footing no, on the court. Just checking that he's got both feet on. I mean, the way he recovered from that, and then he spun round. That was quite a heavy fall, that as well. He well, did well to keep his composure there throughout the rally. I wouldn't say he's going to land very hard, is he? It's <laughs> <laughs> a pipe cleaner. <laughs> getting on the ball early and giving himself the option with the hold. Showing so much discipline here, Down El Shabagi. And just as I say that, he goes for the nick. It was, it was loose oh, and he'd hit one earlier. So, you know, it, uh, it was there for the taking for Shabagi. Just hit the top of the tin. You do feel as though he does need to make them shots. He needs the he confidence. Needs, yeah, and to make them count. He needs the points from them, physically. Oh, Farag again. The the vocality, but just getting balls back with interest. Not sure it looks quite as comfortable as he has done previously for Ag, movement-wise. Just looks as though he's really having to... He was pretty tense. Um, I mean, again, we talk about these situations and they're very, very apparent but he was watching again his wife playing the black ball open in Cairo uh, he's just watching on his on his iPad in the in the players area and, and it was he was very irritable that she she didn't actually win it she lost to Shabini but he was er really irritable with it and, and getting really into it I mean I don't care how kind of cool and calm you are when you get on the court that's going to take a little bit of a toll on you yeah you would think so I mean he's done it so often yeah. though, hasn't he? he's uh, watched Noah play in big finals and and had to go on court afterwards and played very, very well, but uh, like you say, it's got to take something out of it. Well, Mohamed El Shabagi at this mid stage just reasserting again at 6 4. Just see Farag here trying to up the pace. 
good work from Shibagi again using height when he needs to. Yes, left. Just struggling to find his marks, Ali Farag, in this match. Well, Mohamed El Shivagi naturally has a very, very aggressive stance. When he knows he's hit a decent quality length to the back of the court, he's really pressing up on the front in anticipation to get on the volley or to react to a short ball from Ali Farag. You can already see as well the tactics of El Shibagi, how they're forcing Ali Farag back in the court. I think if we'd have seen this same angle from his previous matches, you would have seen Ali probably another yard further forward towards the T area and working across that middle. El Shibagi is already driving Farag back into the, in the court, which is, uh, which is testament to his, uh, his, his tactics and also his execution in this first game. Yeah, that's good work. From oh, that's, that's, that's brilliant work from Shabagi. The one-two. So this is the best we've seen Mohamed El Shabagi play all week, and certainly, certainly since Chicago, he didn't uh, produce this type of form in Chicago for me. Oh wow, that's a great <laughs> shot from there. <laughs> it looked like that he was, easy, didn't yeah, it? he did. It made, it, he played this quite upright. He looked like he it could have been a straight drive. This is how subtle his uh, deception is. just see Farag starting to find that rhythm around the middle of the court. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great shot. So impressed with the first get from Farag front right. Or he goes in like a, uh, a praying mantis there. And then just getting caught cleverly by Shabagi. No smile from Shabagi. Business now back end of this first game, crucial part, all the hard work being done. So we'll let that unfold. He's maintained a two-point lead quite consistently, hasn't he, throughout this first. Yeah, and he knows exactly how important that is. Staying on top of the scoreboard, Ali Farag is going to put some exceptional squash together. He is going to win some big rallies, but so long as El Shibagi is ahead on the scoreboard, he's always going to put that doubt into Farag's mind. Clever use of height from Shibagi, stretching out Farag. Farag's accuracy has definitely improved though in the midsection of this first game. Getting the ball closer to the sidewall, deep in the back corners. Yeah, so he's Shibagi can hear the racket clanking, just stayed in. And these are hard movements for Shibagi. He's really pushing yeah. forward, trying to take the ball early. But when Farag gets the ball past him, they're really, really tough movements. Oh, he's stretching him nicely here, Farag. This is a good part of the, the match now. And Farag's T position, getting more oh, threat. Oh, shot. Down. Oh, not far in it. Shabagi had the opportunity there. What a rally, Lee. Brilliant from both players there. You see how much okay. work El Shabagi was having to do there to stay in that. That was definitely Farag's best rally of the match so far and exactly what he was wanting. 
So a bit of extra work being put into Mohamed Al Shabagi. Quality of the width and length of Farag falling a bit lower into the back corners. And a wonderful That's line. A great shot. Oh. That is a great shot. <laughs> this, this has been. Like, this I mean, has been. Well, it's world number two, world number is. one, isn't it, stuff? I mean, this is just oh. brilliant. Obviously, the crowd really liking the cross court nick there from Ali Farag, but it was that ball down the wall that was absolutely perfect. Glued to the wall, gave him the opportunity to finish the rally. Well, Shabagi's gone for it. Didn't quite get it on that one. Good pressure, oh, he shot. walloped that one. Absolutely caned it cross court. There's the first one, and he Nine comes in here eight. and gives it what for? Good movement, keeping himself in the rally, Farag. Got to make sure he gets that width, though, Farag, from the left-hand side of the court to the right. If he doesn't get that ball wide enough, he's putting himself immediately under pressure. tough physically very very tough rallies at the end of this first game both players know how important it is to get the first game oh, we've had 16 minutes of pure quality from these two to kick off the match it's the pace as well though Joey 16 minutes of really hard squash. There's not been uh, many rallies in there that have gone easily. Both players having to work hard for what they get. Also, and we haven't, you know, we haven't had the break up of play because of the hitting corners and the quality's been so high. The break up of play of refereeing decisions. Farage just kind of inside out at that one. He's under pressure though. And there's the slingshot. <laughs> legs were, well, feet were going like the clappers. That was a good shot selection from Shabagi. It was. He just Benny. held the ball just long enough to get Benny. Farag going down his left hand shoulder there and uh, just put the boast around just out of the reach. Another massive rally there from El Shabagi, giving him two game balls. Well, if Shabagi converts, confidence will only grow from the beast. There's the error from Farag. There's the error. Mohamed El Shabagi gets his focus bang on for the beginning of this match. Best squash we've seen from El Shabagi for so, quite some time as well, in my book. So, in the Battle of the Egyptians, just shy of 20 minutes, Shabagi leads one game to love.
exceptional game of squash from these two, as you would expect, the two best players in the world putting on a real show here in Canary Wharf. It was El Shabagi who took the momentum at the start of the first game, but Ali Farag played very, very well to get back into it. Some fantastic rallies, very, very hard physically, very attacking for these two as well. But it was Shibagi who held his nerve towards the end of the first game. And you can see from his reaction that he knows how important that was.